What's up y'all? So I got a treat for you guys today. I'm gonna be taking Oliver, also known as Lux, to my old recording arts school, Recording Arts Canada. And they're having an open house and Oliver's asked me before if I could take him to a legit studio and show him what it looks like. So since they're having, uh, they're having an open house, I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? Go check out my old school and show you guys a bit of it too. At the same time, give Oliver something dope that he's never seen before and hopefully that can inspire him as well. See you guys there, man. Peace. What do you think? Ah, it's a nice place, man. I'm excited, man. Regular the lighting sucks. I don't know how to use this yet. <laughs> But yeah, we're going up the floor, seventh floor, that's us. And we're about to see it pretty soon, yo. Stay tuned. So this is the room I wanted to show you, yo. This is the room. Oh my god. And this is the mixing board. Wow. This is the beast, yo. Look at this. I don't even remember how many channels this is. So we're here, man. Recording Arts Canada. It's been like eight to nine years. It's crazy. They even still have all the mixers, all the toys that we used when we were here. And this is a beast, yo. To be honest, I don't even remember how to use this anymore, but I remember at the end of our course, I freaking got tested on this. And I had to go in and they, had, they told me how to do stuff, like do this, add EQ on this, add reverb, and I had to freaking remember all this stuff, yo. But yeah, memories, man. It's crazy. See, as you can see, yo, like the, the way that they build these walls, oh, the panning, I know. the panels. This is, if you really want to know, See, it's pretty dead. It's not 100% dead, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty dead. Oh, they, they put insulations in Yeah, too. everywhere. Wow. Even the way they have the... Um, the oh, these ones are... Like <laughs> those are the, the, the what's it called? Vocals? Diffusers. Uh, yeah. Diffusers. For vocals or something? Nah. No. There's, there's a reason for those too, but... But That's those are diffusers, yo. Right? Diffusers, yeah. And they're, they're stacked like that for a certain reason. It's not just a design. That's all the effects. You got lexicons. Task cams. It's crazy, yo. Wow. I don't even remember using all of these when I was here because there's just a lot to use. You got a test, but uh, like, um, did they test you? Yeah. Uh, they had to make sure you you could use this. No so way. before you before you could get your um diploma, they had to make sure you know your way around this board. So you have different kinds of um way they all sound because there's no specific standard. They build their own components. They figure out how they want it to sound. So if you get like a, the guy called something Neve, the other console in the other room, mm -hmm. that's a Neve console. The guy's last name who started that mixing board oh. was called, his last name was Neve, was Neve. So that's his stuff. And the LaFont, I forgot who built it, but that's a different thing too. A lot of history. And like with these boards and stuff, you have to go directly to the company to replace some of them because they're the only ones who make it. You can't buy like other, other components because it's not going to sound exactly the same. You have to go to... Uh, if you got a Neve console you want to fix, you got to go to the Neve company and get it fixed. It's unfortunate. Nice. You, this is crazy too. This uh, thing, this whole thing over here is automated. Wow. So, I think, so anything you save on this, on uh, your Pro Tools session file, mm -hmm. it'll uh, restore. Are you guys using uh, the newest version of Pro Tools now, or what are you guys we've running got, uh, We've got a lot of different, we have, I think we have four versions of Pro Tools 12. So here I am back in the headquarters, Oliver also dipped, and he had a great time man, I hope you guys did too. Seeing all those equipment, those mixing consoles, those are like hundreds of thousands worth of audio equipment there. And I think it's going to be very rare to be able to touch those things again. Just because a lot of stuff is going digital and it's just cheaper to get digital equipment in the present day. So again, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to leave the uh, recording art information in the caption below uh, or in the comments so you guys can see. And uh, you know, if that's something that interests you guys, you can check it out. And like I said, they do a lot of uh, tours and open houses so you guys can actually go and see and touch the equipment for yourselves. And also talk to the teachers so you can have an idea of what it is uh, they teach and how they teach it and obviously their knowledge that's it i'm call it a night thanks again for all those that have liked and subscribed to my youtube and or facebook 
And if you haven't yet, man, I do invite you to do so. Because I would love to share more audio stuff with y'all. So till next time, yo, this is Ray G signing off, man. Easy. Bye.